Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to another episode of Phasmophobia. Today we are at Tanglewood, and there's been another beta change. Nothing crazy, more like fixes for the last changes, which is awesome, and continually improving the game. But a couple changes that might make a difference to some of us is that the Banshee no longer gets distracted by the sounds of player that it's not targeting. So as you know, a Banshee usually targets one player at a time, and I guess before... With the hearing, uh, the Banshee might get distracted by someone else. But now it's just coming for you if you're its target. And secondly, they lowered the night vision uh, brightness in the houses, which is awesome because some of the times, I know like Tanglewood Bathroom, for instance, it might be hard to see the ghost doors because it's so bright, even with all the lights turned off and everything. Uh, so now that they've lowered the brightness, it should be easier to see, and that's why we're going here at Tanglewood. So we can go ahead and check it out. Even if we don't have a bathroom ghost, we'll probably put a camera down in there just to see. Violence, please, Nancy. Oh, Nancy has a bedroom here. Maybe it was another Nancy. Tough one. Violence. Yes, we got some violence. You know how we like some violence here. Alright. Let's go find Nancy. So, again, the thermo is still the king because especially with all these updates, one of the things they've done is made ghosts wander more frequently or have a higher chance to do so. And so... Well, hearing is amazing and probably the best thing you can do. You might get some noises that won't necessarily be the ghost room. And same with the EMF, you might get some activity like in this room and it's actually over there by the garage because it wandered over there. So you can get very confused. And the parabolic microphone, as you know, it just gives you a general direction. It's just a huge width and distance. So you're gonna have a bad time. But the thermo pinpoints exactly the temperatures. Now, what you need to do, let's see if the uh, thermostat's in here. Not the thermostat, the breaker. <laughs> thermostat. Turn up the thermostat. Uh, the thing you want to do is, if you get, as soon as you get a bigger temperatures on this, you can go ahead and rule out that room. So it's gonna take a while to ramp up, but that's okay. Let's see if we can find the ghost. Where are you? Give us a sign. Show yourself. Nothing. Nancy's so quiet. She's supposed to be violent, I thought. So much for all that. Check down here. No bone. We do have a mannequin. Cool. Very cool. Nothing else. Not seeing nothing in the basement. Do we have a bone over here in the dining area? Nope, we're getting our temperatures are starting to go up a little bit, so that's good. Should be able to pinpoint her location soon. Ah, look at that right there. You see that? The bone is hidden in the utility room right underneath that towel. Sneaky, sneaky. Very sneaky. Come on, Nancy. All right, let's look at the utility room, 11.9. That's still below the threshold, so I, I'm not sure if I would consider that cleared yet. 12.4 is getting closer. Once it goes above 13, I'm good. Oh, sound like a door back over here. Oh, I heard a object fall too. You in Nancy's room and you in your room? Nancy and Nancy room? I just heard the flick of a light switch. 13, uh-oh. Doesn't look like it's here. 12.7, 12.9. No, it's not here. Are you in the bathroom for real? That'd be awesome. Four, three, eight. Might be here. Let's go ahead and put our stuff down. Let's go get some more stuff. No point waiting around any longer. We kind of got a general direction of it. And so while those temperatures take a little bit to go ahead and correct themselves, we need to get some evidence in there. Let's get it piled up. Uh, let's get with the video camera. If it is in the bathroom, let's go with this one because this one is going to give us a little bit better because not much room to put a video camera slash tripod in this bathroom. But we can put this on the counter and get a decent vision. So something like this. 
maybe a little bit more. Right here should be good. Let's talk to it. Where are you? How old are you? Oh, we got ghost riding. What do you want? Okay, we got spirit box and ghost riding. Two pieces of evidence immediately. Uh, spirit demon or oni. No freezing temperature, so that might suggest either a spirit or an oni. Let's turn on the light. Actually, I want to show you that uh, the brightness just in case. Even if it's not a ghost orb, which it can't be. Ghost orb is not a possibility. I still want to show you the brightness changes. So you can kind of see for yourself. See if you think it's a lot darker. So that's what it looks like. Oh, the door moved. Okay. Uh, that's what it looks like now. Which is good. I think it's a lot dimmer than what it was. And that's the outside as well. You can kind of tell there too. Uh, let's grab... What else? Oh, we need to get fingerprints or EMF for a spirit or a oni. Let's go ahead and figure out the ghost first. Then we'll focus on the secondary objectives. Look how big this is. You know what's cool too? Go this right here. Check this out. Oh, what? You can't see it over there. Weird. But I did this over here, I think, and it worked. How, how did I do it before? Yeah, now it works. Interesting. Can I do it closer to the wall, maybe? Will it work now? Yep. As long as you throw it close to the wall, it'll shine through the van. That's a big old monster handprint right there I can find. No problem. Alright. Are you a spirit? You're a spirit. We got it. Fingerprints. It's a spirit. We don't need the EMF. Let's go ahead and throw it in there. Why not? Why not throw it in there? So... Let's go ahead and look at the secondary objectives. We got ourselves a spirit. How's our sanity holding up? 70% uh, more or less. Motion sensors should be easy. Let's go ahead and plop those in there. It's a small room, so they're going to be triggered pretty quick. Not going to take too long. We're going to put one right here just in case it starts wandering a bit. And the other one, we'll go ahead and put that right there right here should be fine all right went ahead and messed with the door too as if it listened to me and just went ahead and triggered that so all of our objectives should be done except for capturing a photo let's go ahead and bring the photo cameras in there all right we got the book uh, the fingerprints, right? Did that work? Good. Let's see if she messes with stuff in here. So we got shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo is better. I go on first and clean the hair. Conditioner is better. I make the hair silky and smooth. Oh, really? Really? We just need a swan. No swan. Ruined. Uh, let's give uh, Nancy some teddy bears from her room. Uh, let me put this camera down for now. Nancy, I'm going to bring you some teddy bears, okay? I'm going to put this teddy bear in the toilet for you. I'm going to turn that off because that's annoying. I'm also going to glitch that out because that's also annoying. You're a kid? Well, I mean, that's why I'm bringing you teddy bears, right? Turn that. Oh, you turned off the breaker. I'm going to go turn it back on, Nancy. Don't you move. Don't you move a muscle. I'll come turn it back on. Don't touch that bear. There we go, Nancy. Don't worry about it, Nancy. I got it. There we go. Living room lights on. Let's go ahead and grab the bunny, too. Here we go. Uh, let's throw this camera down and get our fully charged one ready to go five photos there we go bunnies in the tub bears on the toilet perfect what do you think about that Nancy now you're not gonna talk to me because the lights are on but that's okay I like the lighting this lighting is so cool it just looks so good this is a nice looking bathroom right but that's a really clean and nice tub you can lay down in that one Get those bubbles going. Heck yeah. 
You got plenty of storage space down here. I'm sure this would also be like a medicine cabinet. I don't think it just, well, it's pretty thin. Probably just a mirror. But you could set up a medicine cabinet. That'd be good. Got a little hand towel right there. That's kind of low, right? You gotta reach down to grab it. Usually the hand towel should be closer up here, right? Look. Toilet paper. Which way did you do your toilet paper? Oh. Did they do it the right way or the wrong way? There is a right way and a wrong way to do the toilet paper. Keeps turning off this breaker. I'm trying to see what's going on, Nancy. Alright, there we go. Nancy! Come on, Nancy! Give us a sign! Do something! That interaction? Why is that not an interaction? I'm so bad at taking interaction photos of doors. It swung open perfectly. No interaction. Do you like your bears? And your bunny? Bear and bunny? What do you think, Nancy? What do you think of everything? Did I do good? You got a bunny in the tub and a bear on the toilet. You like that? Nancy, can I get a picture of you? Just right over there by the bear would be good. Right over there by the toilet. Yeah, you can't see which way they put this on. I hope it's right. Otherwise, I'm going to be triggered. They have some more down here, though. What is that? What bottle is this? I haven't seen this bottle before. What are you? What is your name? Oh, it's rolling around. There we go. Um, Mr. Mr. Zula or something like that. Looks like some cleaning stuff. Cleaning supply. Into the sink you go. What else do we got under here? Here we go. Uh, we also got... Oh, this is more cleaning supplies. Okay, that's cool. That's why this bathroom is so clean. Look at this. And the good thing is, this is the next to the kid's bedroom, right? You figure this bathroom would be a lot more disgusting. This is a very clean kid, because the master bedroom, they have their own bathroom. Yeah, this kid is insanely clean. That's good. I guess he has a regular sized bed, so maybe it's more of like a teenager. This is a small room. You can barely bring your chair out, though. How do you fit in there to get on your computer? That's insane. This room needs to be a little bit bigger. Or maybe the bed a little smaller, huh? It can barely fit between there. You gotta squeeze through. Oh, we got the Ouija board. I almost forgot. Uh, let's pick that up and bring that to the front. That's going to be fun to play with here in a second. I'd like a picture of Nancy, but she's not really cooperating here. The Ouija board count? It did. I'm glad they fixed that. There were some times where it wouldn't count, and so you had to toss it up like this to get it to count every time. Or put it on a counter or something. Now you can just lay it flat and it'll work. Nancy! Come on, Nancy. I got plenty of stuff for you to interact with. This t oh, the bear disappeared! Where'd the bear go? Nancy, where'd you put the bear? Right, I'm gonna put the bunny on the toilet now. Come here, bunny. We gotta go find that bear. This is important. Where's the bear, Nancy? Where is the bear? Where did you put it? Not playing games with you, Nancy. Nancy? Found the bear. Uh, put the bunny back in here. I'll put the bear back on the toilet. Don't you move it. Come on, Nancy. Oh, you know what? We got the bone. I forgot that it was hidden, right? It's hidden in the utility room. Very, very carefully under the rug. Right there. Check that bone out. Boom. Oh, I looked up, but she was right here. That's what I'm talking about with them being able to wander more. You might get it completely wrong without that UV light. Or not the UV, the thermo. UV light doesn't really help because there's probably fingerprints over there too. Turned on the light over here. Oh, there she is. 
There she is. Look at her go now. Did that picture count as a ghost photo, I wonder? How? How? Come on. I mean, that's not the best ghost photo, but that's a decent photo. That's kind of sus. Kind of sus. Turn the lights off, too. The bear still here? Good. She ain't no little girl, though, like we thought. We thought it was Lydia, but it's not Lydia. Come on, then. I need a better photo. That sucks. I thought I got it. At least a little bit. I thought that was okay. Come on, Nancy. Nancy. Nancy, come on. I need a photo. How's our sanity? It should be really low. Let's drain it some more. How old? Got her that time. Tell me that wasn't a ghost photo. Tell me that wasn't a ghost photo. Oh, I thought she was hunting. That has to be. Good. Thank you. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Alright, we should be good to go. Our sanity is like 37%? That's still pretty good. We haven't had the lights on for that long. Let's go ahead and tank it. Let's get a hunt. Let's get a nice little hunt before we leave. How old are you? You are... 17? Seriously? Seriously. 17. Alright. Uh, how many people have you killed? How many people have you killed? One. 17 years old and she's killed somebody. Wow. Whoa. Ooh, a little baby breath. Okay. What's the name of the person you killed? Who did... Oh, never mind. Yes, we'll never know. Uh, we'll ask her again. I just wanted to get a ghost hunt. Nancy. Come on, Nancy. We'll go wait for her by the locker. Show you that the locker is still 100% safe. As long as you hold that door. Coming, Nancy. She's coming. I hear her. There she is. There we go. Still 100% safe. She can't get to us in here. As long as you're holding that door, you're okay. Just make sure you hold that left click down. If you let go of it, then she's going to kill you. As long as you hold it down, you're okay. Unfortunately, you kind of got to like look down as well. You can't look up and hold it. You should be done soon. There we go. There we go. Got it. Let's get this key too. Why not? Family won't miss it. Let's get out of here. Oh, turn on the lights for us. Ooh, a nice humming. Hear that? So nice. Who did you kill? What's the name of the person you killed? Who did you kill? Who did you kill? I wish that was a question. I don't think it actually is. Just thir like 30 different ways to ask. What's your favorite room? What's your favorite room? F. O. The foyer? Foyer is your favorite room. That's not really a room, but it's more of a hallway. Okay. Why? Why would the foyer be your favorite room? Like, if she would have said bathroom, I could understand. But foyer? Alright, whatever. We're out of here. Let's go. We're out of here. Let's go. I can pick up all the things. Cool. So that was Nancy. We got to see the dimness of the night vision now that they changed out in the houses so you can see a little bit clearer. We got to have some fun with Nancy teleporting the bear, which is kind of rude. We just brought it to her. Telling us that she's 17 when she looks a lot older. I don't know. I'm pretty sus. I need to see some ID. Uh, also, 
Uh, she's killed one person at 17, so that's kind of scary. Um, I don't know how long she's been dead, but I don't trust anything she says when she says she's 17. So, $235. 200 experience. Nice. Getting close to 1,000. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the Discord. Link is down in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.